Shudu is a digital supermodel. She is a very, very glamorous um, and amazing woman, but she is 3D. I'm Cameron James Wilson. I'm a visual artist and creator of the world's first digital supermodel, Shudogram. For a long time, fashion hasn't really adopted um, change, especially with 3D. Um, it's kind of seen as something radical, whereas in most industries it's, it's very standard. Um, pretty much if you flip through an uh, IKEA catalog, for example, 80% of the images you'll see are created in 3D. Putting together accurate representations of clothing, I use a program called Clo3D. That allows me to simulate kind of fabric draping and cloth simulation. So what I do is I put Shudu in one pose and then I have her go into the next pose and what will happen is she will uh, hit the fabric and it will drape. And that's the power of Clo3D, that it really knows the fabric. Hi, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Michelle. And we're 3D designers at Clo Virtual Fashion. The very first step is we'll have to measure the actual pattern and recreate the pattern exactly to get this exact look. So the hem finish is important, finishings inside. This one's really interesting because of the elastic and that's going to take into account the shearing ratio here. And then also the texture of this fabric. It's a crinkle and it has a little sheerness to it. This one was interesting with the shearing ratio from the sleeve to the cuff, and then also the button closure finish. We wanted to take into account the hardware on this. So we get some yardage of the actual fabric, and we cut strips for the warp, the weft, and the bias, and we basically test how that bends and how that stretches. So first you would test the bend of each direction of the fabric, and once you record those measurements, then you can move on to testing the stretch. So you take a strip and you're testing what the resistance of the stretch is and then the point at which it stops stretching. So you will know, does this garment fit or does this garment not fit? Then we have the thickness of the fabric. So we have a digital thickness gauge. So that gives you the weight of your fabric. Record that. And then here you go and start entering the information. So I'll type in my weight, my thickness. So this is the pattern window. Uh, so here I have all of my patterns laid out. So if I open up my 3D window, this is the garment in its digital state. So we have our belts through our D-rings. And then we are also able to show the texture from our fabrics testing. No one ever has to sew a sample, which is really nice. A lot of that hard labor is kind of what we want to eliminate and kind of create a more sustainable process for both designers and development in the entire industry. Putting together a, a virtual shoot is pretty similar to a real life one, except everything's kind of in your control. You know, if I want to choose an environment which is a desert or a uh, you know, a kind of beach or whatever, I can do that. If you imagine when you play a game that you kind of can, can go around an environment, you can do the same with the program that I use with Shudu. You know, it's, it's an environment that you can traverse and look around and, and capture uh, photographs. It's really similar in the way that you, you do in real life. It's like a virtual experience. In some ways, Shudu has taught me more about natural beauty and, and kind of the meanings of that because I've had to make her so realistic. And in order to make her so realistic, I have to add all those natural imperfections that I was taught to take away with photography. Photoshop is all about taking away the realism, whereas 3D is all about adding it. I mean, with digital models, it brings about whole new concepts of time and beauty. In a world where we can chop and change our looks, you know, what, what will decide beauty? You know, we could have uh, we could be eight foot tall and, and we don't ha need organs anymore so our bodies can be completely different, you know. So in a virtual world, I'm excited to see what standards of beauty, you know, and where they get pushed to, you know. I think that's what excites me, you know, kind of 
from one extreme to the other. You know, how far into fantasy can we get with, with the human form before it becomes something completely different?